stem cells, what are they and how influential could they be in modern day medicine? Joining me to discuss is Nicholas Stuckey. Nicholas, welcome. Thank you, thank you very much for receiving me. It's always a pleasure. Fantastic, well it's great to have you back. So I guess the first question could be, what is stem cells? Yes, exactly, stem cells, because I guess uh, many people hear about stem cells, it's like in the air nowadays. Stem cells are cells that we have in our body, in some tissues. But what is interesting with stem cells is that they are unspecified cells, meaning that with uh, the right use, they can adapt themselves to different organs of our body. And this is very, very interesting for research and for uh, healing because uh, being uh, treated the right way in labs the idea is that we could have them re-injected in some part of our organs or tissues to regenerate the, the organ that doesn't work well or uh, to regenerate the skin or anything, anything that doesn't work well in our body. And this is a colossal revolution in medicine, in future medicine. So you briefly touched on the regeneration side there. So how could they also be used in modern day medicine and in what fields could the stem cells be used? So the idea is that um, we have, we realized lately that if you um, take some cells from our adipose tissues, like from the fat of the belly or of the thighs, if you take some stem cells from there, they're quite concentrated and they can be extracted in, uh, in, the in the laboratory. So the idea, I will give the example of what is done today for the skin. Uh, you come to, uh, to a cabinet, you have a small uh, liposuction, like half an hour uh, operation, it's n almost nothing. You extract the fat with these stem cells that are sent with a courier in the laboratory. Uh, they extract these stem cells and 24 hours later, you have these stem cells injected in your, in your skin. The skin is having some kind of boost because these stem cells will become skin, uh, cells of the skin and they will regenerate the skin because unfortunately we age and aging means aging of the cells. They, uh, they age, they get destroyed and putting some new cells, baby cells, it's like ba new, new cells, the reborn cells, and the, the skin shines again, the, the, um, the texture of the skin changes, it's incredible. And the idea is to do the same thing, but for other parts of the body, for the heart, for the pancreas, for the knees, for joint problems, etc., etc. There's a huge potential, of course, right now, um, for these inner parts of the body, there is still a lot of research being done. But so for the moment, what we offer to the patients is that they can have, when they're in good health, still young, dynamic, they have these stem cells uh, extracted from the thigh, for example, and they can stock them in some specific banks that we have all over Switzerland. And when uh, the medicine will be ready, and this will not be in uh, such a long time, um, these stem cells will be used to heal whatever problem you have in your body and since they are your own cells there won't be any problems of uh, uh, rejection, immunity, etc. So the, the, the it's like betting on your health for the future with your own cells. Like a future investment? Absolutely, this is it, a future investment and uh, you have absolutely nothing to lose actually. This is very exciting. So lastly, so some Swiss newspapers have been saying that Swiss clinics um, are having problems with some Swiss medical authorities regarding cell injections. So Absolutely. It's a, it's a very good point because actually this has nothing to do with stem cells, but it's what they called uh, cell injection therapy. But it's not uh, human cells. It's based on animal cells, specifically sheep embryos. So it has nothing to do with uh, what uh, this topic, but many people, they mix everything. And actually this topic of uh, sheep embryo cells has been uh, investigated by uh, the Swiss authorities and uh, lots, of, uh, lots of clinics 
have been uh, closed or uh, some labs are investigated because it's very opaque. No one knows exactly what are in these uh, cells injections and uh, well, the fact of injecting animal cells in the human body is very uh, touchy in a medical point of view. I'm not a doctor myself, but I know that uh, all our doctors in, uh, in our medical center are not really uh, supporting these kind of uh, activities. But it's, it was done, it is still done in some clinics, but I guess less and less because uh, now the, the rules are much more strict. And uh, I repeat, it has nothing to do with uh, the stem cells, uh, human stem cells research and treatments that are going to be um, available very, very soon. Well, it sounds like a very exciting time for you. So thank you so much for coming in today and talking to it about us. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure. Well, that's all that we have time for today. But for further updates and interviews, do check out the Gigascopy website. Goodbye for now.